We were that first crew that was going to get a chance to fly this vehicle and test this vehicle that was going to take human beings to the moon. We were very, very aware of the time pressure and uh, everything has to go right if we're for sure going to meet Kennedy's goal of getting to the moon in, in that decade and back. Apollo 9 was, was an engineering mission from beginning to end. We, we tested every possible thing that could be tested. The mission was completely dedicated to testing the systems, the engines and the guidance and navigation, all kinds of things that we could do in Earth orbit. So when we first got into orbit, we, were, we had a lot of stuff to do. And so we needed to make sure that we had the, all the data we could get. The lunar module had to land on the moon. Uh, I mean, that's what it was designed for. And then it had to get back up to the command module so there, there was a ride home. How does that sports car handle, Jim? Pretty nice. It's really very difficult to get the coordinate system in your head. Normally, we docked looking out this way. And for the docking with the lunar module, you had to look out this way. So the control system didn't, didn't operate the way it normally would. It was the most complicated, messy, system of springs and levers and latches and, and unbelievably complex. We depressurized both the lunar module and the command module, and Rusty was going to get out and transfer over to the command module. And we were doing that to see that it could be done. I'm part way up the front of the lunar module, making sure that I could safely do that and not poke holes in the suit with the antennas and things. And everything was quiet. Nobody was talking. That beautiful Earth out there, I mean, that's when I really saw just the beauty of where I was. Now, Dave wanted to get, it, get out of the spacecraft, too, so we <laughs> part of the mission was for him to open up the hatch. So they were, we were all out there in a vacuum. Here we are at this historic moment that we're all part of, not just the astronauts, but everybody who's alive today, and we're all on this small planet as representative of life. We're beginning to move out from this planet, which, as far as we know, contains all of the life in our little corner of the universe. It just worked beautifully. I mean, it was an amazing vehicle. It was a hell of a ride. <laughs>